What's up guys, Jordan Patton here with a brand new NASCAR Diecast review and today we're going to be looking at Kyle Busch's 2018 Bristol Spring Race win race version. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. So as we do a quick 360 of the car, um, this is a rare Kyle Busch purchase for me, but I obviously had to get it because this is the car. I know everyone's thinking, don't say it, don't say it. Uh, but I'm going to say it, this is the car that won at my first NASCAR uh, Cup Series race that I attended in person. So as mad as I was at the time, and however like badly I cursed Kyle Busch at the time when he was doing his burnout, I didn't. I was so mad I didn't even take a picture or a video of his burnout, which is which I'm kind of bummed out on. But I was I was heated because I wanted a uh, Kyle Larson McDonald's race version, not this. But uh, now looking back on it, you know, I always really wanted one of the Skittles I cast, and so this kind of forced me to get one. But um, yeah. Anyways, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the details of the car. So, on the front we have, I'm sure a lot of people were like, a lot of people who aren't Chevy fans are glad for me to do a non-Chevy uh, diecast review, but here we go. So we got Toyota, we got Camry, we got 18, and Joe Gibbs on the front. There you can see the dirt and whatnot on the splinter. And on the hood we have Skittles. And we got some confetti on the hood as well as some dirt and grime. Let's take a look under the hood. And there is the engine detail if you care to see it. All we have under the hood is Toyota Let's Go Places. Uh, we got Monster Energy on the uh, window banner with the Toyota logo. And some more confetti and whatnot. And on the roof we have 18. Roof flaps do in fact open. Uh, this one doesn't want to open because for some reason it was all jacked up when I got it out of the box. But uh... It's fine now, so no big deal. I had to put it back in place, so I'm not going to even try. Open it. Nothing on the roof. No sponsors on the roof. Uh, this is number 279. Got Skittles on the deck lid. No opening deck lid because this is an ARC. But on the back, we have Race the Rainbow, Taste the Rainbow. We got Toyota Camry XSE 18. Toyota again. Got a little bit of uh, bump right here. A little dirt on the back of the car. And on the side of the car, we have Ream. We have Skittles on the quarter panel. We have Stanley on the C post. And on the B post, we have Toyota Joe Gibbs. Uh, Snickers, Twix covered by some confetti. M&M's, Pedigree. And I'm not really sure. Uh, American Heritage something. We've got Interstate Batteries. We've got Freightliner, Deucin, Mac Tool, Cessna, Siemens, Leak and Welders. Uh, not really sure what that is. Oh, uh, not really sure what that one is. Uh, we got Sharon Williams. We got some dirt. We got some uh, dings and dents around the skirt of the car. There is our contingencies. <clears throat> got some damage on the tires. The tire, the littering is pretty much wore off on this side. Um, not a really big damage car, but there, it's definitely got enough dirt and grime to make it pleasing for me to look at. And I do remember. Honestly, I do remember like how the car looked after the race, so I remember some of the, or at least on this side, which is pretty much the same as the left, but uh, the only real big damage ding right there is on the uh, right rear quarter panel right there. Of course, we got a blacked out side skirt around the exhaust there. Some more grime. These tires are pretty fresh. They're good years and wore off of them. Of course, we got the winter circle, winter sticker. We actually have them on this side too. One's put on there very sloppily. Good job, Kyle Bush. Of course, we have Kyle Bush's name as well. Of course, no, uh, no, win no uh, window. This being a Bristol car. Take a look under the car if you care to see that. That pretty much is the car itself. Let's take a look at the trinkets. You get the winner's card. Kyle Busch, Food City 500 winner, Bristol, Tennessee, April 15th, 2008. Um, Bush rules Bristol Motor Speedway. Of course, this was a two-day race. Rained out on Sunday. Finished on Monday. It was pretty much snowing. So I got to, I got to uh, endure all the elements that day, or that weekend, actually. We got that. Got our winner sticker. And we have our bag of confetti. 
And of course, let's take a look at the box, which we've looked at a couple of 2018 race winners now. So it's pretty much last year's race winner box with the uh, 2018 like graphics and whatnot, with the green in it. We got the winner sticker, winner sticker, Monster Energy Cup Series race version, 2018 race winner, a winner of the car, 2018 Bristol winner, standard finish, uh, race on the official diecast of NASCAR, 18 action racing collectibles. We got the uh, 2018 schedule. Um, Monster Energy Cup Series, and we have the production number, Kyle Busch number 18, Skittles Bristol win, they got Skittles in all cap right there, it's yelling at us, and this is number one of 505, standard finish, we got the winner's sticker right there, Monster Energy, they go stuff on the bottom as always, and for some reason, the little plastic cap won't stay on, so yeah. Here's the one last look at the trinkets that you get. And one last look at the car itself. So, nothing really special as far as, um, you know, damage or whatnot. So if you're not into uh, clean race versions, this one is not for you. But if you're just collecting race versions, uh, this year is a gear to do it because I believe they are making every single uh, cup win in 124. Last year, they I think there's a, there's three that they didn't produce, and I, as a lot of you know, I was trying to collect all of them from last year. Uh, it's probably not going to happen just because I don't. It's really hard to kind of because there's so much that just comes out, but um, I may do it this year just because you know a lot happened this year. This was my first year I went to a Cup Series race or two actually, and. Uh, of course, Chase Elliott got three wins this year, so I might do that, but I don't know. There's also a lot of repeat winners and repeat Spain games, but anyways, that's pretty much it for this review. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be awesome. Uh, you can follow me on my Instagram page at jpat underscore diecast2. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.